Hello everyone, uh, this is my first video of our house renovation. Our house is located, as you can see, on a typical terraced road. And this is the house. As you can see, typical terrace. Let's go inside and see what has been done so far. And this is the man responsible for all this uh, lovely job. And uh, his name is Mike and he's renovating here. Mike, tell us what have you done so far? Completely renovated the property. <laughs> What has been done? What have you done um, uh, before the current state? You can. What have you done with the ceiling? Okay, there we've uh, flattened the ceiling by um, placing uh, ceiling boards up onto a subframe that's sitting on the joist. Due to the fact the subframe or the joist themselves have been bowled to such an extent that there was a three inch difference from one side to the other so that's all being done now we have a flat ceiling the uh, casing of the beam that was in place again that had a complete bowl there was a three inch difference there so uh, rather than um, changing the beam basically i had boxed the beam in uh, to a level state so at least it looks aesthetically level now he's very good at diy floor, Ma mike what about the floor <laughs> well the floor well the floor was a disaster basically it had collapsed completely the joists if you can call them joists were totally rotten so if you take the film down there what you can see here is i built up the new columns all the way around stuck in the cross members and put in a new uh, so subframe the, so all the foundations are brand new yes yeah well it's not so much foundation they're just columns holding up the uh, main beams there was a lot of gravel to be removed and yeah. my back hurts <laughs> still because i had leveled the floor what we have in certain areas is basically it's level here and here we've got an inch difference um, in different areas there's bow gullies the whole lot so the plan here is that i find my level once the plastering's done i'll find my levels i'll put down the ply board um, to build up the uh, difference um, once that's done to a certain degree then it shouldn't cost that much to actually do the self leveling but we basically have um i believe there's about a two inch difference um i don't know if you'll be able to see but if i take one of my highest points and take the level as you can see that's one of the differences there right, it's like what are we doing here well, here, it's, uh, because it was so completely enclosed, the decision was to make it a uti uh, well, to utilize it as a workable space. So they have the opportunity here um, to have a, I don't know, a desk, um, whatever they want to utilize. You, you say they, uh, so we have to say uh, that uh, this is not uh house for us to leave uh, live uh, we're going to we're going to rent rent yes. it out it's a rental so this property. is our investment property yeah okay let's let's move uh, uh, on to kitchen and what are the what are our plans to to make it nice well there's not much really to say about the kitchen i've uh, bond um take um, not so much taping but 
Um, I glued in to plasterboard with adhesive, um, situated the sockets where I think uh, they're going to be necessary. Uh, so what we're going to have here are base units and wall units and I'm going to leave a space here for a fridge freezer. Yeah, there's, there's not much space uh, to put extra units so we have no. to be clever about it yet. Uh, about it. What about this area here? Well, again, if I came out 600 with a standard unit uh, for the sink, for example, because it has an obstruction to the bathroom area, right. what I've decided to do is I'm going to bring it in 100 mil, put in um, 500 base units and have the worktop going in to the window itself. Uh, when they get replaced. So at least then it gives that extra bit of space for traffic, basically. So guys, this is our idea how to maximize the space and create that free passage uh, through kitchen to bathroom in the back. But if you have any uh, recommendation or idea, please let us know. And don't say knock down the wall and extend the <laughs> kitchen. I've already gone through that. No, no, no. Right, and uh, we have our small bathroom okay. in the back of the properties. Again, um, historically, this used to be the outside toilet. Um, as you can see on the floor, that's where the waste used to go. So here, nothing's going to change. The only difference I'm going to do, or what I'm going to change is, I'm going to have a 1600 bath, rather than a 1700 i'm going to put in a um, partition wall here we're going to have a mixer shower here and we're going to have back to wall toilet here so everything could be enclosed inside the wall so no pipes should be visible whatsoever we don't want to see any pipes no that's a no-no what about what about the ceiling okay so as you can see, whoever did the actual extension bit decided halfway through the bathroom um, extension, decided not to fill in the second skin of brick up to the uh, ceiling heights or up to the joists. That uh, can cause big problems. Um, so what I need to do is from the outside, take the roof off and basically complete the brickwork um, so it's uh, up to standards. Right. What about these pipes in this small corridor? Well, these pipes will all be gone. So these will be gone. All these will be gone. And as you can see, I've built in the channels ready for the new piping to go under the floor. God, you are so good. He's so good. He's not a builder by trade, but he loves his DIY. Guys, I will, I'm going to take you now to upstairs and see what has been done over there. So this is our smallest bedroom and Mike is having, having a, a short nap. The room's completed basically with the blast strength. So all that's been done here are extra sockets. Um, what I need to do left is, while well, this is still free, is basically put a radiator here, which I'll connect to the uh, radiator flow and return pipes here, which are already there. Um, and the idea is because I got ugly pipes, which is nothing I can really do about. Um, well, the plan will be just to put a radiator cover here, uh, just to hide everything uh, that's in place. <laughs> I like the walls nice and smooth. Let's move to the second middle bedroom. And it has been plastered as well. Right, looks much better now. Yeah. So it's just got a bit of more drying to do. 
in this corner here, um, but now it's all gone pink, so uh, yeah. Should take another day by the time that dries off and they're uh, ready for the uh, sealer, Miss Pope. Mike, what walls. have you done in this room? What was the state of this room before? Um, the state of this room, this ceiling was a disaster. Um, the whole ceiling came down um, and basically again, like I did downstairs, I put in a subframe um, attached to the existing joists and uh, put in a level ceiling. So, uh, at least now, um, it's flat, straight. Okay, from the middle room, we're going back to our small passage. And we moving into our main bedroom. Gosh, looks much better with plastering on. Again, the same story as with the middle bedroom. Yeah. Basically, the reason that happened is that we have one and a half inch joists running along the span of the roof, which was held up by um, brick wall, which obviously went down originally to the ground floor. The person decided to open up downstairs, which is fine, um, but he didn't really take into account um, the stress that was put on that beam, hence why we had the bowing. Um, so what I had to do upstairs here to get the property up to a safe standard, which is what I like to use because it was totally dangerous, is I removed all the bricks from this um, wall here, which relieved the pressure on the beam underneath, um, and left the beam up on the roof as is, but I've removed the ability to utilize it as a room. And I'll show you, if, if the camera can catch it, I can actually show you the type of bowl that happened. Um, so I've removed all the floorboards upstairs and it's just going to be used as a loft space. Um, how the beams were not, um, how can I say, the beams were not strengthened would be a good word um, for a room to be up there. It was only a case of sticking another, you know, I know, four and a half inch beams across uh, the span of the rooms but that was not done right so okay. so oh, the there, there was stairs here yeah, there was stairs upstairs. here going up into the loft space there so you removed that yeah if you come over here and let's see if the camera can actually capture it if you give me the camera i don't know if you'd be able to do it. i'm going to try and put a face on but as you can see, that's the beam up there. That's running against a straight ceiling. And that's what I have to contend with. You can actually just see the bowl happening there. And that went right across the whole structure. So, yeah, so just to make the property safe, um, I basically uh, boxed in and made it into a loft space rather than a usable, usable room. But in the future, if we decide to open it up again and make it into the room, then at least the job will be done properly. Lovely weather today. <laughs> Lovely sunshine. First time. This First time. Sign of spring. So guys, this is us, Mike and Dorota. This is our first full renovation of a property. Um, I'm sure there's many questions that people would want to know. How did I do this? How did I do that? So by all means, subscribe, send a mail through and I can explain to you all the tips and tricks that I used. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and hope you wait for the next episode. Thank you guys. See Bye. Ya. Bye. <laughs>